If you need to go 12 and 0, complete domination, Evo cards, and other grinding services, go contact Rose NBA on Twitter. Link for that will be in the description. Yo, what's going on, guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K21. My team, we are on the No Money Spent account. This is a No Money Spent episode, and I'm going to show you guys how to prepare for season six. As you see in that top left hand corner, by the time of me recording this video, there is only two days left of season five. So there's a few little things we have to do to prepare. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Drop a like on this video as well. Comment below your prediction for the level 40 reward for season six. Now with these tips I'm gonna show you, they are no money spent tips. I'm gonna show you how you can get the level 40 reward just like I was able to get this D-Rob. Completely no money spent. I have not put $1 into this team right here. And I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but the team is nice. It is a nice no money spent team. I mean, we got hella lucky with this Kevin Garnett card, but even if you take him out of the picture, this is a really good squad. Now, I opened up some prize packs the other day, and then I opened up two idols packs in the pack market and got lucky with that Kevin Garnett pull if you missed out on that video. It's one of my previous ones. So that is why he is on the squad. And then we used him in another one of my recent videos of the My Team Unlimited, the one, the one last run at My Team Unlimited journey. So I am going to be selling him in this video because that is the first tip I want to give you guys is when you're grinding for 1140 is you need to have some MT. Now you do not need to spend money to make MT. You can play Triple Threat online, you can sell things, Triple Threat offline I mean. You can make MT from playing the game. It is not just going to appear on your account of course. If you're no money spent, you gotta be a grinder. You cannot be no money spent and not grind. It just doesn't work like that. If you're no money spent, you gotta grind the game. So we're gonna be selling a ton of stuff in this video right here. But what we're gonna do firstly, is send the Kevin Garnett to the auctions. Now I'm gonna apply this gold shoe to Kevin Garnett. I don't know if it'll do much, but it does do up to three point. So maybe it'll make him sell for a little bit more. Um, his badges are pretty nice. I could give him gold floor general, but we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna send Kevin Garnett to the auction and I'll also be showing you guys what he sells for as well. So we're gonna list this man on the auction right now for four hours. So within that four hours, obviously it won't be a four hours for you guys, but you'll see what he sells for. He is selling for around the 300K mark. Um, that's what I've seen previously. So if we could get 300K, that's pretty good. But we have to now move you know, it, it, I'm not gonna lie, it pains me a little bit to do this. You know, I did like um, the team, how it was looking with the Dark Matter card, but it is what it is. Team is still pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with how the team is looking with or without the Dark Matter. Now, if you look down in that bottom left-hand side of the screen, it says auction outcomes. Again, if you watched my previous My Team Unlimited video, we grinded that and we got a ton of stuff. We got diamond contracts, we got diamond Paul Pierce, diamond Glenn Rice, some Amethyst card, a pair of Curry 4s, and we have now made this much MT. We sold these contracts for nearly 40K each, so we're on 63,000 MT. Let's see how much MT we have after we redeem everything. So you just sell things you don't need. You know, that's it's like you need MT. That's definitely like the number one tip I can give you guys. But to make MT, sell the things that you don't need. Now, I'm not expecting everyone to be able to go far in my team unlimited because it is a bit of a, a sweaty game mode. But you know, it's, it's just another way you can make MT. However you can make MT, that's how you should do it. Whether it's true with that online, offline, grinding challenges, whatever. Just get it done, get some MT. We made just under, we made about 98,000 MT from selling all that stuff. And then just go through your collections, see what you have, see a card like this, Amethyst Joel Embiid, I could send him to the auctions and make one and a half thousand MT for it maybe. So I'm gonna send everything that I don't need or don't even want to the auctions that has some decent value. Like that Andre Drummond, you might not be bothered, but you know, you might find a silver card like this. We'll take a look at his value, see if he sells. So I'm gonna do that with everything and we'll see how what we have in the auctions. So I'm just taking a look at my badges right now and I have this clamps badge. So take a look at your badges, see what has value. 
Um, see this clamps one right here, it's about 2K. Might not really be worth starting to get really cheap right now. So I could probably sell it for like one and a half K. I will send it to the auctions actually, because that is kind of a decent price. Um, but it also depends, do you want to get the Hall of Fame badge from the exchange when the new season comes out? You got to put that into consideration as well. I am now going to list everything right here, which isn't a lot, but it's, it's a little bit of stuff. I'm going to list all of it on the auction house right now, so it'll be sold by the time KG sells. And every now and then, guys, go through your collections and quick sell your shoes. You'd be surprised how much MT you can make. I don't have that many shoes, but I'll tell you how much MT we make from just quick selling this little, this little amount of shoes. So I have just quick sold all of my shoes, wasn't that many, and we made 5,000 MT pretty much. So little things like that go a long way, especially when you know money spent. You can do the same, you know, quick sell injury cards. They quick sell for a lot cheaper. So that's up to you, personal preference, if you could really be bothered to do that. Personally, I can't be bothered to do that. So we've got about four hours until Kevin Garnett does sell, but we're gonna wait till he sells before I actually talk to you guys about the actual grind to level 40, because I don't wanna keep going back and forth with certain things in this video make it too confusing. The first half of this video is literally get MT and how you can make MT. Obviously, again, I do not expect everyone to have a Dark Matter card. I don't expect everyone to open up two single packs and pull a Dark Matter card. That is unrealistic. I got very lucky at the time, but there's some other little tips and things like that. MT making it the first half of this video. Second half will be how to grind no money spent to get that level 40 reward. Three hours later. All right, guys, so KG, amongst other things, has sold. To over 300k is what I want. Oh, damn, he didn't even sell for 300k? That kind of sucks. Honestly, I was expecting for over 300k for it. Regardless, I do understand some people are getting ready for the new season. So, it cost me two packs. It cost me 20k to get that KG, so now that's cool. I'm cool with it. We're going to have just under 450,000 MT, which honestly puts us in such a good situation, such a good position for Season 6. Now, speaking of Season 6, the best way to grind is you want to be grinding challenges that have a time limit you know obviously they all have time limits but as soon as there's daily ones to get the daily ones out of the way as soon as possible um if there's a game if there's one that's a real hassle like you got to get a block with a center in a game of domination don't even worry about it like there's plenty of xp you can get if there was a challenge that annoyed me i just didn't do it if it was like one of these daily challenges but always try and get them done you know if it's something like a player issue to any player that's so easy um these ones right here to get the fox card you know i would normally do that but i don't need to so i don't need the um i don't need the xp because i've already hit level 40 for season five but we're going to use for an example we're going to find let's go retro 2k volume 3. so if you see right here all of the expensive cards derrick rose scotty pippen and curry i did not do any of their XP. I completely leave them because they're too expensive. I did the rubies, the amethyst, I did the diamonds because diamonds get cheaper now, pink diamonds are getting cheaper now, even some galaxy opals because I was able to do Hedo Turkle. I was able to do Hedo Turkle because galaxy opals are starting to get cheaper because they're kind of like last year's pink diamonds if that makes sense because dark matters are the new galaxy opals, 99 overall. So the more 2k drop dark matters in, the cheaper galaxy opal cards are going to become, which is great because that makes the other cards cheaper for us to get. So I would just buy whoever I could afford, get their challenges done, sell them, and just continuously do that. I would do that for every single promo. I did every single ruby, every single amethyst, every single diamond, and so on. For every single car I could, card I could afford, but honestly, if you, I mean, if you take a look at my lineup, none of these cards are on the auction house besides that Shaquille O'Neal. I grinded for every single one of these cards, so I wasn't adding. Like, I've got the MT right now to pick up a couple of nice cards if I want to, but I want the MT to grind for that level 40 reward. So that's something I wouldn't do, as I wouldn't necessarily upgrade my team. And obviously, I have that Shaq because he was on triple threat boards. Another thing I would do is the weekly challenges. You For completing these, you normally get like 300 roughly xp so why the hell not go ahead play that game and you can do cards requirements in these so if a, a new kevin durant card comes out you need 100 points with him just play this challenge and score with him so you're getting two birds with one stone and of course every 
every now and then will get challenges like this when there's moments cards if 2k don't feel like dropping moments cards they'll drop moments xp challenges so Ingram dropped 36 points, so instead of a moments card, score 36 points with any Brandon Ingram card. Get those done. They're not normally this much XP to be honest, but because it's the end of the season, 2K drop XP like crazy. But normally we do get these throughout the season. So, and it's really easy. A card like Brandon Ingram, his price will go up for a Sapphire, but it'll only be a couple thousand. Get the XP done straight on the auction house again, sell it immediately. But whenever we do get a promo, whether it's a Flash 7, Quantum, whatever, they expire when the season's over. So do not like rush those like crazy because you don't have to rush them. You know, there's plenty of time. When the new season starts, you're gonna have over 30 days to get it done. So if we get something like this moments one right here, it might only be out for a couple of days. You wanna focus on that one. You wanna get the ones with the less time on the timer done first, then come back to the ones that have plenty of time left. But that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. Huge dubs on pulling that KG the other day. Day. wanted to give you guys as many as my tips as I can to let you know how I was able to get the level 40 reward and how I'm going to be doing it again because not only did I do it I did it with like 13 days to spare so like I didn't have to grind I haven't been grinding XP for ages so I'm well rested ready to go again when the new season starts so comment down below are you going to be grinding for the level 40 reward and before we wrap up this video in honor of pulling that dark matter Kevin Garnett card we're going to go ahead and open up just one single could you imagine if we got another one but we do not and I'm going to be saving the rest of my MT so I can just continuously keep buying cards and with that amount of MT I'm going to be able to buy Galaxy Opals more early like normally they're expensive but we're going to be able to afford them which is awesome and always take advantage like when 2k drops Shaq on triple threat online boards I got a feeling they're going to be doing that a lot more now. Now that they've started doing it every week or maybe every fortnight, that will happen again, I'm assuming. So take advantage of it when that is the case. Get the free cards, sell them, make MT. If you're no money spent, keep grinding, keep making MT, and you'll be able to get level 40. It's honestly not that hard. It is honestly not that hard at all. I do understand some people work, some people have school, but if you want, if you really want the card, you'll be able to find some time. You're only got to put, a, put aside an hour a day maybe if that even like maybe just put three hours in you know every three or four days and you'll be able to get it done just use your time wisely um, but only do it if you truly have fun with it as well I really enjoyed being no money spent and grinding for that level 40 reward and it felt good when I got it but that is going to wrap up this video I hope this video does help you guys out make sure you do go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now and drop a like on this video as well I'm going to be posting a lot of season 6 content I'm super hyped for it so I'll catch you guys on the next upload it's been witnessed